Hello friends, today we are going to install D-Link model DIR825 hardware version J1 firmware version 1.0.3 as a repeater. So in my scenario I already have D-Link Eagle Pro series router model R12 as my main router which is a gigabit router. Uh, that is my primary router. Now I want to connect DIR825 wirelessly to R15. Okay, so let us see how we are going to do it. So uh, let us start the configuration. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to connect your laptop to the D-Link DIR825. Either you can connect using cable or you can connect using Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi name and password is given at the bottom side of the DIR825. Now currently what I have done is I have connected my laptop to the DIR825 using a LAN cable. I have connected to LAN number 1. Alright. So a, a cable is running from my laptop to the DIR825 to the LAN number 1. So once we do that we need to open up a browser and we need to enter the IP address as 192.168.0.1 which is a default IP for the DIR825. Eight two five. Okay, so once you enter it, you will get this screen. As dear customer, it is the first time uh, the device is turned on. Please configure the device in order to use the internet access. So you can click on start. So once you click on start, it will ask the language. You can select the language as English and click on yes. You can you can use the advanced settings or continue the configuration. So basically, we are uh, configuring the router using a wizard. So you need to click on continue. Once you do that, it will ask you to set up the device mode. Now, since we are configuring this 825 DIR 825 as a repeater, you need to click on this connection method, and you have to select as Wi-Fi. So once you select Wi-Fi, by default it will select as WISP repeater. You have to click on it and select repeater option. Okay. So once you select repeater, you need to click on next. Now in my scenario, I as I said, I have DI, uh, uh, R12 as my main router. Uh, for that router, the IP address is 192.168.0.1. Okay. Which is by default so that's my primary's default IP okay so what I have to do is I have to change this DIR825 local IP to any one of the 0 dot series IP so I am keeping as 192.168.0.200 you can give any random IP so I am just giving as 0 0.200 okay Subnet mask will be 255255 255.255.255.0 .255 and the gateway address will be my main router's default IP which is 0 0.1 which is this IP address is the default IP address of my primary router which is R1, R12 okay A DNS I am keeping the same and then I am clicking on next now once you click on next, you will get this screen as Wi-Fi wi client. Now you need to click on this wireless network option. So once you click on that wireless network option, you will be able to see the available networks in your area. So you will need to select the network which you want to connect. So in my scenario, since I have R12 router as my main router, so I am connecting to R12, selecting R12. Okay. Once that is done, the network name will be there in the network name box. In the password box, I need to enter the password of my primary router's wireless network. Okay, so you can just verify once. Alright, so this is my Wi-Fi password of my main router. Alright, so then you can click on next. So once you click on next, okay, you will get a name the primary name so this is my primary name and after that it will be underscore ext which means the dlink 825 dir 825 you can change the name if you want there is no problem with that i am keeping the same one so that i can identify this is my extended network uh, as dir 825 working as an extender or a repeater all right so i am keeping the same password as the same one 
okay the primary one so name is will be the same underscore ext okay password is same so you can click on next here so this setting is for 2.4 gigahertz if you click next you will be having 5 gigahertz settings as well so r12 underscore 5g underscore ext okay so this is the name for the uh, dir 825 which i am setting it up so you can change it no issues with that you can click on it delete it and you can use a new name no problem okay then you can click on next so here it will ask you to set up the admin password setting it up as one admin 123 admin 123 and then click on next so once this is done you will get the summary of the router so if you just click on the save configuration file one file will be saved you will be able to see all the settings uh, see username is this, admin password is this, IP address of the device is this, uh, LAN IP is this, what we have set up, Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password is already saved. Okay, so you can keep it uh, with for your reference and then you can click on apply. So now you just have to save, uh, just have to wait for some time, let the settings save properly. The router will get reboot. So this is how we configure DIR825 as a repeater. Once the settings are saving, you will be able to see the lights on the router changing from orange to white. Just have to wait for some time. Let the settings save properly. Yes. So now, using this 192.168.0.200, I am able to access the DIR825 router which is my extender. In a similar way, if I put 192.168.0.1, which is my primary router, I should be able to access my primary router as well. All right. So this is 192.168.0.1, which is my primary router. This is 0 0.200 is a secondary device, which is a repeater. That's DIR825. So you can just log in. Username will be always admin, password is admin123 which we have kept, click on login. So once you log in, it will ask, it will check if there is, if there is any firmware upgrade to be needed. You can click on advanced settings. Okay, so here you can see the status of the DIR825. DIR825 is connected wirelessly to your main router, parent router. If you can check the IP address which we have given, that's 0 0.200, right? We can see the settings for the 2.4 also. We can see the name what we have given, what we have given for the 5 gigahertz as well. Okay. That means the internet is working through the DIR825. If you can check, the status of the DR825, the LAN card of the uh, my laptop, it says internet. So that means I should be able to browse. Okay, so if you just type anything. So this is the, the internet is working. Alright. So this is how we configure DIR825 as a repeater. Now in the next video, we will see how to configure the DR825 as a access point. Alright, so stay tuned. That's it for now. Thank you.